Hey everyone, hi, how you doing? We want to welcome y'all to a very special video today. You see this tree back here? We're about to get together. We're going to trim our Christmas tree. We want y'all to come along with it. And guess what? We got something special in this envelope for one lucky subscriber. <coughs> Doesn't matter if you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber. We'll let you know details on what this is at the end of the video because today we are celebrating our 200 subscriber special! Let's get to the tree. We'll be talking about our life, how everything is, how things are going with us, maybe some uh, memories of our YouTube videos and the life we had sent to YouTube. So, stick around for our wonderful 200 subscriber special. Alright everyone, here we go. We're each gonna pick an ornament first, we're gonna put it on a tree, then we're gonna go sit there, we're gonna fill it up as quickly as we can, have a good old time, and share our best memories with y'all. Thank y'all very much for watching Top Hat and Ears. If you like what you're gonna see, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, like what you see if you want, and leave a comment below. And remember, stay tuned at the end of the video for a special giveaway. So, y'all ready? All right, let's get going. Pick up y'all ornament. So what y'all got? And where are we gonna put those? Um, just not so much in the back, just, and we have to spread them out. Last year I couldn't even reach that. I know, now you're reaching even better, huh? Funny thing about this tree, it was left in the attic when we moved here. And we had a little, like, tree. Put it nicely, oh, we had a family dollar, $20 tree <laughs> that's just a little bit better than Charlie Brown's <laughs> Christmas tree. And honestly, if anybody needs a Christmas tree, we got it up in the attic, you know. It's a small one. If you want for a friend or family that doesn't have one, let us know. And we can ship it over to you. We just got to, you know, check shipping prices, but... We'll see what we can do for you. Maybe help somebody have a Merry Christmas either this year or next year if y'all need something. So that's the funny thing about this tree. It was, we basically bought it with the house. Yes. I basically it for But I think we did a video of us putting together our old tree. And when we first started, like our first Christmas on YouTube when Gabriel was here. Right. So you, it was going over all our favorite ornaments, so. And we'll link that one so y'all can see that as well. And y'all can go ahead and uh, enjoy that one as well if you like. And hopefully this one, since we've been on YouTube for a little while, is a million times better than that one. But let us know what you think. Oh, this is your work one. Yeah. Let's see. Tim works there. <laughs> yeah, I'm old Jefferson Parish. Uh, one from 2015. A little turtle dove. So. Take a quick look. Here's all the ornaments that we're going to be putting on the tree. Well, some of them. We still have Yeah, she is correct. It is some of them. We still have some in the box. So. I'm guessing There's our, our angel. Our theme this year, I think, is snowman because outside we have a lot of snowman. Oh, look, it's another one from your work. Oh, I got a bunch from my work. You see here? We got a few more. As you know, we're Disney fans. This right here. You can put them all up. That's right here. It says just married. That's uh, mine and Sarah's, our love of Disney. There's Gabriel's first Christmas ornament. And unfortunately, it's only numbered Christmas ornament. I think your sister gave us this one. Paige. From Flirty Girl. Yeah, I think she did, honestly. Yeah. Flirty Girl is a local store. Dad right there, y'all. Everybody who's watching. That is he has in her hand. That's our three wise men. That we didn't get with our uh, nativity set, so that's gonna go with our nativity. Oh. We are from New Orleans, so obviously you gotta have one special ornament in New Orleans if you're a good resident of it. Right here, it's something my uh, friend made, Sharon. It is a Florida Lee Saints ornament that will adorn our tree. It has been every year since she gave it. If you can see up close, it has Tulane Lakeside NICU. Reunion. That's where Gabriel was for the first 99 days. Yeah. 
till May. He was yep. there. So we went to our little reunion and they gave us this. So that's a special ornament to us. Let's go with this one right here. See? Another Mickey Mouse one. Dad, do we need like some of those hooks for Everything us? should have a hook. Look, yeah, Dad already put it on. And here's our dog Momo. He's a schnauzer. Yep, a major schnauzer. We could be a pain in the butt at some time, but hey. But we also have another dog named Trixie. We, we don't do, have huh? Because cool. we got her a couple. Well, we got her, I think, last year. What? Well, about two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. We got her when I was pregnant with Gabriel. Right. It's actually longer than that. Yeah, maybe three years then. Oh, that's an old, old, old one. That's a very old one. Was this supposed to be a strawberry? Yeah. Did you get it from the strawberry festival? No, I got that when I was a kid. Oh. Well, we live in Ponchatoula. Well. Right outside of it. Yeah, right outside. Of, and we're known for our strawberries. And we have a big strawberry festival. We don't go to it, though. Parking's ridiculous to get there. So, you know, and they charge you to park. Here's Mr. Bingle. That is a quintessential icon for New Orleans, and if I remember correctly, an old store called Maison Blanche. Yeah, Maison Blanche. But I'm not sure if uh, Macy's or Dillard's is the one that currently owns them down I here right Macy's now. Macy's does. You know? I want to say it's Macy's. Yeah, so we're going to put this on. Let's see where it gets put. Well, I think Mr. Bingle should be be in the front of our tree. Right, but... He is so special. Like I said, we got a lot right here, so we're going to try to... Well, I tried with our, our, our ornaments, like, our family ornaments here. Right, remember, we got the, uh... Yep. Yes, a special ornament. Which we have to show yet. Well, it's all spun glass when we, ornaments. When we go get our ornament, <clears throat> family ornaments, we'll have to take them with us. Yeah, we'll have to take them with us. Because it's actually different than what we have. Because, yes, every year we go ahead... Well, I don't think we got one last year we for... Did. Whatever reason, but every year we try to get ourselves a, you know, what do you call it? A family ornament to celebrate the new year of oh, Christmas. Another one, Marvin the Martian. We're putting our family stuff here. <laughs> yep. Like I said, we love our Disney. And this right here is a very special ornament. We actually got it from the Disney Rewards site. It's for the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. We've never been in Disneyland, but we really want to. Maybe one day we'll get there. What? What are y'all thoughts on Disneyland? I mean, how is it? I mean, how does it compare to Walt Disney World? And if you had to choose one of them to go to, again, which one would you go to, Disney World or Disneyland? And why would you choose that one? I think Disney World. I'll well, we, World. we've never been in Disneyland, so we have no way to know. I'll choose Y'all, I said to put Luke's little arms are. You need to put some on the bottom, too. Honestly, don't put them on the bottom. No, no, no. Put, put. See, Izzy, if the dogs come in, they're going to hit the bottom of the tree. So, because, you know, we're trying to make it to where everybody, to where the tree doesn't have, like, one straight line of one color or something. Like, it's. Like a cascaded pattern, you know, of different things all around. Oh, what you got there, Izzy? Cross. Ooh, what's that for? What's that cross about? It was about when Jesus died on the cross. Right. You know, and what's that also mean we're celebrating for Christmas? Oh, this is cute. Who gave us this? Oh, it's one of the uh, Hallmark keepsake ornaments that we bought a while back. I don't remember. You probably didn't buy that. Uh, no. <laughs> kind of me of, that, of that, that Christmas story about the, uh, I forgot what it was called. If y'all out there watches knows what it's called, please let me know. It's one of my favorite ones. It's one about the uh, guy who's working to try to help with Christmas, what have you. But he can't make it, but there's this mouse that is his own little Christmas thing with his, with his like, poor family. So they're trying to work together the Christmas for their little town that they both live in. But some kind of clock's not working right, and they got to fix the clock and everything. All right. 
Now we're gonna get to our big ones. So this is Gabriel's first Christmas. We have a little place in the mall that he can get stuff like this done. But this was the one we picked for him. We thought it was perfect. Yes, it is. We have to be very careful with our special ones. Sean, what's that one you got? Um, this is the one that we got from the mall too, I think. Right, and what kind of what's so special about that ornament? Um, remember the lady? Oh yes, the lady. Um, the lady made it for us, and we were at the large mall, I think. Right, and what's it say on it? It says Sean, and then we have another one that says. So this is one of our. This is our 2015 family yeah. ornament. We have Momo and Trixie, yeah. Tim and Sarah. Sean, Gabriel, and Izzy. It was very hard trying to find ones that include the dogs. Yes, I think with seven uh, characters to put uh, names on, not that easy at the location we have to put uh, ornaments up and everything. Or buy them, I should be saying, you know. But, you know, let's ask. What are y'all favorite types of ornaments? Is there any kind of special you like on your tree? Are there any uh, oh. ornaments you collect from any locations or places? For my mom, back when we were kids, McDonald's had the Disney one. This one is a penguin one. It says Momo, Trixie, Tim, Sarah, Izzy, and Sean. And what year of Christmas is that one? Two thousand and four. The Hendrix. Two thousand fourteen. Fourteen. Close. Very close. Izzy. You see, so you saw the 15 one, now you saw the 14 one. I mean, what are your favorite types of uh, Christmas ornaments? What are your favorite Christmas songs? No, not. What are your favorite Christmas traditions? Hey, maybe you'll have something that we might want to try. Now, I know they're doing most of the trading. I'm doing most of the filming. I'm okay with that. But I'm going to show y'all what my favorite tradition of Christmas actually is when it comes to putting ornaments on the tree. Besides family... Uh, ornaments and togetherness and getting something each year that represents our family in one way or another. Whether we let the kids pick out their own Hallmark keepsake ornament or one at Walmart, or we go ahead to our local place and get a family ornament and get our names put on it, <clears throat> or one for each of us with our name on it, there's something else I like to get each year if I can find a particular style that I like. Now, the ones I like, everybody, are hidden right inside this cellophane paper. Why is it in there? Because it's delicate. It needs to be wrapped and protected. And you know what? I'm going to show you why right now. As you can see, all these ornaments in there are like this. Spun glass ornaments. This one is a birdhouse. So we're going to put this on. And then each of us are going to be very careful. Put the rest on. And once we're done with this, we're going to get to that special giveaway, as I promised, at the end of the video. So, like I said, please stay tuned. Honestly, if you just want to get to the giveaway, skip forward to the end and watch it. I mean, do that as well. It's your choice. But here we go with the spun glass ornaments onto the tree. Yes, this one that Sarah has right here. My mama, she actually passed away. 2015. Yeah, 15. December. Right. That was actually about three, three and a half weeks right before Gabriel passed away. When she went up to heaven, she basically, we feel, was getting Gabriel, you know, a place prepared for Gabriel to be up there and everything. So she's got a special place always, you know, to the top of our tree so that she's always there with us. As you can see, there's right there, it says, love always, mama. That's what we need to do too. We need to get an angel or something to put Gabriel's. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. Like if we find like a little angel or something or a cross, we can do that. Right. Makes perfect sense. Just something I thought. Now y'all, if y'all want to help mommy carefully, and we put up the special ones right here, we got to put them in a higher place. We don't want the dogs hitting them, okay? This reminds me of Peter Pan. Right. Some of these ornaments remind me of Disney. So well, yeah, we love our Disney, so you know. So this one reminds me of Peter Pan because of the ship. <laughs> Now you see that what you have to do is, okay, when you put it on the branch, bend the branch up so it holds in place, okay? 
Be very careful with that, okay? Because that's glass, and you can get cut if you're not careful, okay? But other than that, have fun. That's a dog. That's actually not a dog. Well, that's a cat. It's a cat. This one reminds me of Mary Poppins because of the, the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Or it could remind you of, uh, what is it, the Prince, Prince Charming's uh, royal carousel rod inside Magic Kingdom as well. If you like to ride those carousel horses. We rarely ride those. Like yeah, because as you know, Sarah, it does get me... Dizzy riding spinning rods. This one's cute. You like that one? Yes, this one reminds me of Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. and Katie's this cat, huh? Me of Mrs. Teapot. Mrs. Teapot. Mrs. Teapot. I get it. <laughs> Mrs. Potts. Get it right. Here's a beautiful angel. Right? Well, hey, we're having fun, right? Come on, be happy, be cheerful. You know, excitement. This is our 200 subscriber special. Enjoy. Have fun. Yeah. Be excited, y'all. We're supposed to be cheerful. Come on. Let's cheer on the kids. Come on. Let's, let's show them. Have a wonderful special. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Have lots of fun. Yeah! We're just, Merry Christmas! We're tired, Tim, too. Oh, this one's broken. What's this one? No, that one is. I don't use that what one. What is this one? What does it look like? That's exactly what it is. Good guess. Sean, is there any more in this bag? There's a lot more of the, uh, we didn't pull them all out. No, we didn't. Well, that's it. There's no way, because I had about 15 of these last ones. Tim, I, I, I went, I... Well, here's the, uh, paperwork and the cellophane paper we have left. I'm going to check that tray and make sure, because I know which ones I'm looking for that I have not seen. Which ones are you looking for? Let's see, we got that. See, all here's our tree right now, as you can see. Take a look around it right now. Yeah, it looks like we might be missing some of them. I'm gonna count eight. I thought we had more than eight of them. Well, that's it. You know, this one we had more than eight of the uh, the last ones. We all we're gonna recheck, make sure we didn't uh, miss any. I'm going to go back and recheck the other video that we did that I've linked on this video earlier for my previous time. Make sure there's more than eight because this one had a lot more because there's special ones that I like that I just can't find for some reason. Like I see an angel that spun glass, a teapot, a parrot ship, a cat on a chair, a Christmas tree, a harp. A carousel horse, a birdhouse. I could have sworn I had a lot more. Unless, honestly, I'm just misplacing something in my head from years past. When I was with my ex, you know, Sean's adopted mom, she and maybe, did take some of them. and maybe she did take some of them with her as well. But we're gonna check that and find out. She did take some, remember? All right, everyone. We got one last thing to put on our tree before we get to that special giveaway. You see this right here? This is our angel. I've had it for many years before I knew Sarah. We are looking one day maybe to replace this, maybe with a Tinkerbell, something Disney related. You know, if you have a favorite Disney Christmas tree topper that you can recommend to us, send us a link, let us know what it is. We'll look at it. Maybe next year, if y'all give us a good enough uh, ID on a better Christmas topper that's Disney related, maybe we'll stick it on our tree. And you'll see it next year for Christmas. So, Let's go ahead and put this year's ornament, or tree top, we should say, on the top right now. Wish me luck. We got the ornaments on there, so hope I don't knock anything down. I mean, Sorry. if I do, what I'm going to do, I have a crash, break that, you know, I have to sweep stuff up. And all we put on this tree, as you can see right here, won't be all working. So, like I said, wish me luck. Here we go. All right, y'all. I'm up here, kind of crazy, a little wobbly. I don't like heights. I'm a scared of them. Uh, lose balance with my knee. I got equilibrium problems. So I'm the crazy idiot that's up here, you know. So here I go. Stretching to put this on. Then we're done. We got one last final thing to do for this tree. And 
No, you say four, four. All right, let's see what we got. There goes the angel. And why don't we have to put a block on it? I don't know. Since this kit does not have a three wise men set, we use that little ornament as a three wise men. So we're gonna put that together and make a little special Christmas nativity scene for all y'all to enjoy, like us. All right, y'all. Let's go see what the kids are doing right now. I hear they're putting something together to finalize one of their favorite parts of Christmas. So let's take a look and see what they're doing. Yeah. Now y'all each, y'all gonna take turns, right? Y'all put it where y'all would like it. Now y'all can say whatever y'all wanna say too. Wait, no he doesn't. Let's watch to see if Jesus slides off the bed, everybody. Oh, he's good now. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Sometimes Stop. I really wish it was made out of plastic money. Is he so, do you think baby Jesus likes water slides? Maybe. 
According to this nativity set, huh? Yeah. Or regular slides, at least. So which one you got, Izzy? Mary. So where's Mary going? And yes, as y'all can see, Izzy's wearing one of her favorite wrestler's t-shirts from AJ Lee. She retired in Saturday. But Paige is back. Who you got, Sean? Yeah. And who was Joseph? Joseph was his um, father. Actually, his no. Stepfather. Yeah, step-father. his real father's died. It's his stepfather. But technically, he said, uh, Sean. Was Ma- like oh, since Mary had Immaculate Conception, Sean. Okay. Technically, you could also say that Joseph was his adopted dad as well. What? Yeah. It's crazy, isn't that? All right, y'all. What we got next? A donkey. Uh oh, you might pin the tail on it. I know, huh? Does that donkey have a tail? Yes, but a very short one, like Eeyore. Like Eeyore? Yeah, from Lady the Pooh. He didn't. He barely had a tail, and he had like a nail on his tail because he kept it rather long. Right, Winnie the Pooh. Very good story. So is the movie uh, Goodbye Christopher Robin. Very good movie. I don't know if it's a shepherd. That's a shepherd. I thought Joseph was the shepherd. Joseph's uh, the daddy. Uh, for He helps God because God Joseph is in heaven. Is yeah. Okay, and what do we have left? The wise three months left. Okay, I got a question. Do you know what the three wise men are uh, holding? I do. Oh, let's say, Sean, can you name one of them? Um, no. I can name one. Okay, where are they? Hold, Frankenstein, and Okay, I got a harder question for you. What? What are the names of the three wise men? I don't know. It's actually given in, in one of the books. I just don't know what their names are, honestly. I have no clue what their names are, but they were named. I don't know it either, but they do have names. It's the best part. Right. So yeah, I gotta set like I need it. Perfect. All right, y'all. This is what the kids did. This is how the kids have the TV scene for this year. So if you like what you see, let them know how well of a job they did, and give us a thumbs up for a wonderful manger scene. Sarah's playing some Disney emoji blitz. Is she good? Yeah, she's good. There's like a little circle with pattern. Once she gets to level two, she's a little bit better. I'm trying to work on my goals. Right. So she got her character. The kids got to put up their manger TV scene. I finally, after a week waiting, got to get this video for y'all and my family and get the tree done along with my family helping me. So... There's only one thing left to do. Announce You know what that is? All right. It's time to announce our special giveaway that was in that envelope. So, whoever wants to come with me, we're going to go by the tree. Because it is Christmas time. We're celebrating that. And we're going to sit there and let you know exactly what you need to do to win what's in this envelope. And we'll show you what it is. So, let's get to that tree and see what's going on. All right, everybody. You see Sean and Izzy right there? They're from the Sean and Izzy channel. I mean, sorry, the Sean and Izzy show, which I'll put a link up here so you can watch their channel if you'd like to and see what it's like for them. Now, as you see in their hand, they have a very special envelope that you saw earlier in the video. It is now time for our 200 subscriber special giveaway, and Sean and Izzy together will take it away and let you know not only what's in this envelope, but what you need to do in order to win this special item if you would like to win it. All right, so... You go first of all. So basically, um... I would be like... Like... like all right, y'all. I'm going to flip over. I'm going to help them out, okay? So, hear my voice? Like I said, this is Tim from Top Hat Ears. I'm going to go behind Sean and Izzy. All right, y'all. Here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we love family traditions. We love the holidays. 
So, number one, at the power of a few rules, okay? Number one, you must be subscribed to our channel in order to win. Either a previous subscriber or a brand new subscriber. It does not matter. You can win. No questions asked, okay? As long as you subscribe to our channel. Number two, please, yes, what is it? Correct. This video, please give it a like. Number three, here's the most important part when this item that we're about to open up. The key word is family holidays. Leave a comment with the keyword family holidays. In that comment, we want y'all to let us know what your favorite family tradition is. And Sean, let y'all know exactly what the way it was the win was inside this special envelope. Remember, that's keyword family holidays, and let us know in a comment what is your favorite family tradition or way to celebrate the holidays. Also, subscribe so new and old subscribers can win, and like this video to get entered. Now, Izzy will open this up and show you exactly what this is that you can win. from the 2016 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, which happens around the springtime inside Walt Disney World, where we got this from. This is number one of three. This is of Donald as a farmer harvesting carrots, as you can see right here. Uh, this is a hard to get uh, picture. You have to be a past, annual past member, or I think also a DVC member in order to get it. We had gotten an extra one. So, we're going to be giving this to one lucky viewer and subscriber to our channel. Now, how long do they have to, you know, enter this contest? How long does it go for? One month. So, what video will they be seeing in one month in order to find the winner? What's the special video we're going to do in one month? The winner. And that winner will be announced on our... New Year's video. Right, so, our New Year's... When it comes close to January 1st, 2018, shortly after that, we'll not only be our New Year's Eve special video, but we'll also announce the winner of this right here. And we will ship to you all this free of charge. And we will let you know, the winner in that video, how to claim this prize. Now, I do want to show you all that these are the two that we got right here. Uh, number two, we only had one of them. That's Goofy doing the uh, water hose. That is number two of three. There was a Mickey Mouse one that we did not get because we missed the date of that one. We are still looking for that one, but we have, like saw, the extra Mick, the extra Donald that we will be giving out. All right, y'all, so you saw the giveaway, you saw the video. We hope you really liked it. You know, we hope you enjoyed our 200 subscriber special as much as we enjoyed actually doing it for each and every one of y'all. Be sure to enter that giveaway if you like the prize. And us over the whole family of Top Hat and Ears, as well as these two little kids right here from the Sean and Izzy show. We all want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Right, so we will see y'all back uh, for the winner of this video and this giveaway on our New Year's Eve special, as we mentioned. We'll be back uh, next time for our next family video. We'll try to get a Disney one on Monday and another family one on Thursday. This has been Tim Seth. from Top Hat and Ears, as well as the Sean Lindsay Show. <coughs> and we are all hoping that you are having a magical day. And we will see you on our next video. Bye! Bye.